Hello everyone, this is Fantastic Worlds, looking back to Lovecraft Country in the Secret World Legends. And yes, we're here finally in Tokyo, and I've gone through my tourist phase of just running around. And we need to lock down and get a little more serious about the storytelling. Now, you may notice the audio is a little different. I had a little hardware problem for the last couple episodes. Hopefully it's all ironed out. Let me know if there's still a bit of a buzz or an issue here, okay? But in the meantime, we already ran past this Oriochi tank. And like all things or Oriochi, it is... Looks impressive, well branded, and absolutely useless. I mean, let's face it, it's sitting here among a, a jumble of parts, and it's got these two huge laser cannons that are doing absolutely nothing, and frankly, it's getting ignored by the enemy. So, yeah, right, pretty much like all Oriachi, which means I expect everybody to be inside to be dead, but apparently I'm. Wait, hang on a second. Come on. All right, there we go. Apparently, I'm wrong. There's some guy named Kurt Buster Kuzak who's decided to set up a shop in here. So, let's see what the poor Oriachi employees, which, you know, rescuing them does seem to be our habit here, has to say for himself. Despite the questionable sanity of Kurt Kuz... Kuzarzak, the stranded Oriochi soldier, seems convinced a surge of filth is inbound. He has been discarding Oriochi technology along with other items from his tank in an effort to prepare for the onslaught, because nothing prepares you for an assault better than putting your weapons far away and disassembling them. Prepare. Perhaps you can find something useful among the pile to help hold back the filth outbreak in Tokyo. All right, let's get to it. Man, this tank has seen better days. Better sentries. All right, Kurt. Looking good with the jumpsuit there. Noriachi branding. some reason got a Star Wars helmet on. Oh, where are my glasses? Control bursts. What? We don't want any more repeats of friendly fire, right? Okay. Good. Interesting symbol in the back you, there. You, you and you. I want all of you flanking the enemy while I draw them into the bottleneck here. Are we clear? Why is he trying the eye of Sauron? Are we clear? Outstanding. You know the drill. Move! That's a Noriachi gun. The buzzing signal came. Mm hmm. It infected my tank's hull. Then it bled into my skull. I tore the circuits out of my helmet. Still, it talked. I ripped out okay. all the circuits from my tank. Put them upside down so they uh, can see me. Uh, Still, the voice talked. Right. It broke Q-tips in my bloody ears. Still, it talked. Maybe it was a warning. Because then, the enemy came. Mm-hmm. We were not trained for this enemy. I... At first, I shot at anything that moved. Yeah. But the enemy became clever and stopped moving. <laughs> but uh, I am more clever. I shoot at anything that does not move. So... <laughs> I am more clever! Yay, yay. Oh, humor the crazy man. Yes? What news? The enemy approaches! You know the drill! Remember, match the ordinance to their defense. We have the tools. We can win! Do you hear that? We, we can still win! By God, let's give them hell! Okay, so we have much to discuss. All right, so Kurt's gone bye-bye, but the reason is because what's called the Black Signal, a.k.a. John. It's a telepathic signal that can affect both, well, it can affect all types of circuits, biological circuits in the brain and, of course, electrical circuits in technology. We're immune, of course, because we have... Um, well, you know, the bee running in our head that's infected our, our neurological services. But in the meantime, 
Yeah, what happened is apparently Oriachi deployed this tank division against things like that. And um, here's the thing. He said he didn't train for dealing with the filth. And if Oriachi is not dealing with the filth, I can tell you exactly what old Samuel is using these uh, tanks, plan to use these tanks for. Urban suppression. Kind of a theme at the time I'm recording this, too. But yeah, he was thinking he was going to use these tanks to take care of a rebellious uh, uprising from the city. Just in case, you know. That's what you keep your armored divisions of uh, police for. Anyway, let's get to whatever Kurt's trying to tell us about. Look through Kurt's discarded pile of Oriachi technology. Okay, we're going to be digging through garbage. It's not the first time. So, yeah, Kurt's been... Oh, what's this? Low energy tank. Feed the tank. Kurt's tank needs power. Thankfully, there are a lot of abandoned tanks in the area. Okay, we'll do this too. But we'll switch back to the regular mission. We're going to cross these things. We'll grab them. All right, all right, all right. Find garbage. Or we might be find some garbage. Oh, yeah. All right, all right, all right. What the? Uh, give me a second. Dude. Rude. Good. You stay over there, okay? You stay there. I stay here. Maybe it's up here. Oh, God. Don't tell me you bugged out on me. Do, 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 do. Ah, there we are. Oh, good. We've got a USB stick. Or our drive or something. All right. Send a safe spot. All right. You you are in my way. Now, you might notice I have a slightly different uh, power set at this point. Yeah, I got the bike on because I felt like doing some cruising. But, yeah. The thing is, is that I decided to experiment with blood magic. And I found a couple of things that work with the fire a little bit better than chaos. A shield and my favorite... The heart pull, which, you know, stuns my enemies and interrupts their attacks. We even have a new plaything. Oh, for crying out loud. Didn't quite get that off. Oh, for crying out loud. Dude, let's just finish this. All right. And my teleporter, which gets me out of area of effect. That's a new setup. We'll see how it works. Anyways, let's get to the intersection. All right, all right, all right. Deploy and activate the device. Okay, so it's doing something. Defend. Okay, another tower defense mission. All right, boom. Okie dokie. There we go. Uh. Oh, that was just rude. But at least the shield kept me going. Ugh. All this filth. I'm going to have to use a cleansing t system. Get a device going that's kind of, you know, okay. Are you all dead now? Are we all... Are we a cool? No, we are not cool. Boom. Getting to like that teleport. Dude, shut up. All right. Oh my gods, you. Got your heart. Oh yeah, you me the guys don't like that, do you? Okay, that seemed to have been absolutely useless. So, par on the course when it comes to uh Oriachi, which way? This way. All right. Let's do the open road. Hmm. Keep expecting to see a Burger King advertisement or something. But yeah, this is depressingly urban. Not a single... Well, there's a little bit of green over there, but... All this gray and white and... Good God, do we have, like... 
gushing of oil that's actually filth over there? I don't want to know. But let's just go take a look at the waterfront. Maybe it's a little better. Got more of a park-like feel. Okay, okay, okay. Let's set this sucker down. See what we got. Okay, who's up for a fight? Ah, there we are. Got your heart. Ha. I don't know what you are, but you're ugly. Who's next? Come on, you popping out of the water? You got fishermen too? Ah, there we go. God, what are you bastards doing at that thing? Figure it's Oriachi. It should have been down by the first attack. Yeah, these things aren't as tough as the filth creatures, so I guess is why they're hiding down here. Next. Shields up. Okay, kill 25 Oni. Ah, Japanese demons. Okay, cool. Who's next? Got your heart. Shouldn't I, Doge? You have. Your end has come. I am speaking like a bad movie. Ha! My kung fu is better than your kung fu. I also teleport. Got your heart. God, I love that heart rip thing. Okay, so that was absolutely useless, like most Oriachi technology. So that away. Let's take a bit of a trek, shall we? Yes, I'm driving on the grass. Eh. Looks like you guys aren't gonna let me through without a fight, so fight it is. Gotten so bad. Whoa, teleporter. I stand impressed. Got got your heart. You actually got me th worried there for a second. Love the telegraphing here. Yeah, I'm actually getting kind of good at this game. Got your heart. Ah, uh, let's go. I'm going to have to zip back through here. I'm a rebel without a cause. Chewing up all that grass. Anyways. So, what, you want some? Fuck did truck driver. God, it's not enough that COVID is screwing with the trucking industry. Okay, wait a minute. The blue thing means there's a tank nearby. We can get to that. Mm, I should have more cardio. You're breathing too hard for that jog. All right. So we got another tank, and we're going to steal its battery, which should be in the rear, I think. Oh, no, there it is. You can tell by the yellow glow, the blue, yellow glowy thing. That's the bees telling us something's important. Hmm, got another one over there, but at the moment, we'll just stick on the main mission and take the ones as we come across. Oh, this is an interesting section of town. I think we blew past it last time, but I never really got a good look Special at it. Assignment received. Uh, excuse me. I'm here to let you know that the street, the seats are quarantined. But this is the worst version of COVID I've ever seen. What the hell? Ugh. Apparently my uh, indicator's down. Yeah, for some reason I was pulling out the wrong attacks. Probably my idiocy, but you never can tell these days. All right, all right, all right. Let's do it again. Deploy the device in some seedy back alley, but at least there's only two entrances. 
Oh, but we got flyers. Wait a minute. Oh, that's a ghost trap. That's why it's called busting. It's from Ghostbusters. Either version. All right, that works. So it's sucking up ghosts. Okay, cool. Ariachi's R&D department has seen far too many movies. Okay, okay. Ooh, they're still talking English. Still a human in there somewhere, but I'm putting you to rest now. Send you back to your ancestors, which are currently being sucked up by the trap. God, I'm like desecrating everything. All right, you, you, got your heart. Trying to sneak up on me, dude? I have razor sharp talents here. Plus the ability to see behind me with this stupid with the camera angle. All right, all right, all right. So, grab that. God, I'm gonna make you my kill quota for today easy. You, stop it. Okay, wait for it to stabilize. Excellent. And it broke. And oh my god, we've got Mega Zombie here. Ultimate Mega Ghost. Ultimate Pokemon version of the Ornery. I think they're called. Well, they are Ornery, given that. And apparently I've got one of their hearts. What the hell? Oriachi technology can go to hell. Alright, let's see what Curse has to say about this mess. Seriously, the Orochi are building tech based on movies? Yeah, right? Figures, and just like the rest of their damn invention, it blows up in their face. Either way, Egon, get back to... I actually kind of look like Egon, especially from the cartoon version. Get back to Kurt's version of the Ecto-whatever and find out if his lunatic has any information about what exactly is going on. Tokyo. Okay, so we're probably going to take her advice, but first collect some tank batteries off screen, because I don't really think you want to want to watch me running around town, but I may have something else in mind first. We have got to activate the uh, entrance to Agartha again, and I am going to run out into wherever this is and take care of that issue. First getting the hell out of here. So, follow the yellow brick road, sort of. Oh, great. A dead end. Why do I have to always have the dead ends? You just, just leave me alone. Right, right, right. Maybe we can get through this section to the left. Hopefully. Not another dead. Oh, for crying. Is Tokyo this hard to navigate in the real world? Oh, cool. We'll drive down the stairs here. All right, all right, all right, all right. I don't care about that mission. And we're here. Which. Oh, good. The council. Now I feel safe. Your boss sucks. And. Fellow biker dude, which I am definitely going to have to uh, take a look at. But in the meantime, let's just get re let's reopen this way, okay? Shall we? And we're back. And I know Kirsten wants us to check out the second mission for that tank, but oh my god, I cannot run past this dude without finding out what his deal is. Apparently, another uh, biker. Interesting. Got the stars and stripes for the Ameri for a Japanese character, but let's see what his deal is. All right. Ah. The Pagans. Ricky Pagan's gang, the Pagans, was split up during the Tokyo incident. Now Ricky wants to know the ultimate fate of his rockabilly buddies. Okay, so if it's rockabilly, understand the American influence. This is rockabilly is kind of the Elvis-inspired genre, apparently popular in Japan at the time of this making, which is probably the late 60s, early 70s, and of course spearheaded by Elvis Presley. But let's get to, let's get to see what his interpretation of the whole thing is. Do, 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 do. A funky interloper approaches. Intruder, know that this place is protected. Gatecrasher, know that you face the one charged by Amaterasu and blessed by Gaia. 
Skin patchy parks bequeathed, leather clad environmental vigilante. Put in the pop in Papa Door, Ricky Pagan. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you very much. much. Huh. This park is secret. Major Buku Mojo. Ricky Pagan will defend it to his last breath. Log up! Don't make me use my stuff on you, man. Ricky Pagan's ultra natural sensors tell him that you're here to help. The goddess Amaterasu tells me you are a friend. Or maybe. Maybe something more. Mmm, don't swing that way, but... Ricky Pagan is a one-man show, but it wasn't always so. I used to have a gang, spreading a good word. Rockabilly brought us together. The Earth Mama bonded us. Amaterasu gave us light. Through the thick and thin, we stuck together. Nothing could stop us. We battled the corporate forces of old ah, people. Ah, Orochi in the background there. We nice framing. We made a big splash. <laughs> I can still see the high water mark. Then came the big boom boom. Ricky Pagan found cover, but... Ricky Pagan couldn't protect him. Pagan... Ricky Pagan couldn't... I mean, I couldn't save them. Mm -hmm. I don't know what happened to them. You were praying. No one asked you. No! You! 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 Shut up now! Uh, Ricky Pagan! Ryuki Sagawa. Ryuki Sagawa. Ryuki no. Sagawa. No! Shut up! Shut up! Ryuki Sagawa, you have no power. This is just a park. A pile of sod and shrubs. Amaterasu is something you ate, or something you smoked, or a hard black tumor in your soft brain, in your brain, in your brain, in your brain. Worst Max your Headroom. Following a lunatic, I saw them suffer, 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 suffer. Enough! Get behind me, static sink! <laughs> Get out of my box! The power of rock compels you! I'll take illusions over lies. I am Ricky Pagan! You'll never walk alone. That's our words, man. Ricky Pagan has to stay and protect the park. But maybe you can go find my compadres. If they're alive, you tell them they'll never walk alone. If they didn't make it, bring me proof. Bring me their leather jackets. The pagan gang won't walk alone. Not even in death. When in doubt, use the music. Let the music use you. Nice framing in the other direction, environmentalism versus Oriochi, Oriochi's um, corporatism. But, all right, let's unpack that before I move any further. First of all, Ricky Pagan. Ricky Pagan is a priest, a pagan priest, in fact. In fact, yes, Amaratsu is a um, Japanese creator goddess of the sun who inherited the stewardship of creation from her father after a brief marital dispute that involved, you know, a lot of stuff. Uh, if I remember, I'll put a link up there to the um, underworld um, legends that it inspired. But in other words, he has the ability is a mortal sh vessel to channel both Amaratsu, the sun, and Gaia, the earth goddess, essentially merging the two together. Now, usually the sun earth goddess combination is male female. He's doing a female female thing. Hey. What do you can say? It's, you know, the 21st century. But in any case, he also had a circle, which is his compadres, which helped amplify his power. And apparently he was using magic against Oriochi to prevent their corporate enroachment. Now, he's guarding over the nexus point. This is a vessel, sorry, a uh, conduit, a guy's power that allows us to move back and forth between um, the hidden, oh, sorry. <sighs> Allows us to move back and forth between, of course, the Hollow Earth, Agartha, and the Material Plane. But, of course, he's down to one person, with the rest of his circle unaccounted for and probably dead. I mean, John, on the other... You got it. John, on the other hand, is representing a separate reality. You see, the Dreamers are materialists. Now, some people would refer to them as nihilists, because they represent, you know, a nothingness. 
Uh, but that's actually incorrect use of the term. One day I may go into that. But in the moment, materialism is the belief that there is absolutely no virtue to any object. The universe is just dead matter. Any um, thought about it, it, I mean, otherwise, is delusions. And, you know, I believe Richard Dawkins is the high priest of that particular religion. But um, in any case... He is an animist who believes that there's an inherent spirit within all things, which is the core of most, well, pagan religions. All right, let's grab his boombox. Quick access inventory updated. Okay, what do we got here? Ah, tracks. All right, okay, cool. Hey. Okay, rioting solo dance studio. 10 1 Kitty and 2 Chrome, Kyoto, Tokyo. One, three, four, oh, six eyes. Rebel against the silence, rebel against the stillness, damn the, the man, embrace the music, ask about monthly rockabilly meetup. All right. Hang on a second. Hey. Uh, apparently I can't do this and ride at the same time, which is probably safe. Safer way of doing things. In any case, music as power, which makes it a little odd that somebody used rock music as a focus for magical ability, but let's remember something. The Earth engines, the Gaia engines, that create this entire universe are based on the concept of vibrational um, power creating reality in the void, which means that they use music, which means that all human replications of music are, in fact, faint echoes of that particular power. So Rocky's using, oh great, more landmines. Rocky's using magic as his um, focus. Um, right, I think we're supposed to go that way. Just trying to avoid running into unnecessary issues. There's really no Special point in this. Oh, great. Back to this. Okay, so... Okay. Note there, but I can't pick it up yet. You want me to use the boombox. Got it. All right. Do 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 do. Survive the assault. Well, this is going to have a good soundtrack. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Where are we? Oh, for crying out loud. Well, you're dead again. I saw you kept your business suits. You know, important for that corporate look to survive your death. You were more biz casual business Friday. You know what I mean? Casual dress Friday, I mean. Okay, you're here. Oh, you snuck up on me, you little bastards. Harder to evade when you're doing when you're in close quarters like this. Sh I have a different setup for um Oh, ow. Don't get distracted, would you? Tomoro. Hi. I don't think you're part of the gang anymore. Here, I got your heart. Let's put that shields up. Really should have done that earlier. Oh, your jacket. I'm gonna have to clean it off before I give it to anyone yet, though. Ew. Ugh. My jacket's ruined now, too, because of you, you son of a bitch. Alright. Let's deal with this. Alright, now we can examine that note we saw earlier. Ah. Pagan officer roll call. Just lying in the street here, of course. The Pagan Officer Roll Call. Ricky wants us to get gang more organized. Starting with the Big Four, Razio. His favorite song is the Bebop King. He's dying for that to be his nickname, but we always tell him you can't pick out your own nickname. He's crashing at 95 Kaiden, 2 Chrome, Tokyo, Kokyo, 13006. Apologies for enunciation. I am a horrible American when it comes to this. Angry Feet, Me Angry Feet in South Kaiden, off of Mintadori, by the building of the Big Morning Light billboard. Oh, lovely. We're going to find out about the morning light, aren't we? Honky Tonk Struck gets those feet moving. Watch those killer moves. Ha ha. Ayo practically lives at Susu's Diner. Best place to catch her. Good noodles. Dirty Dog Bass is the track she'll wear out. Johnny Kaiju, the big man himself. Big fists, big temper, but play hate. Boo boogies, and he'll drop whatever he's doing and turn into a dancy pussycat. Hint, hint, no doubt. All right, all right. Next location. Now. Eh, well, you know, at least they're not bot. This is not making traffic harder on this side. All right, all right, all right. Excuse me, guys. Oh, you son of a bitch. Are you there, Harko-san? 
I don't understand that reference. At least I got rid of that. Oh, we're gonna do it again, aren't we? Shields up. Oh, it wasn't quick enough for the teleport. Oh, the damn cab got in the way. Yeah, I'm gonna need a different configuration when it comes to this place. It's too close quarters. The teleporting and the big flashy attacks don't do as much good. All right, all right, all right. Be with you in a moment. But the other place I'm supposed to be is right over here. Oh, for crying out loud. Can't an individual just drive through the streets without being assaulted? Ugh. Jacket's dirty enough already. All right, all right, all right. Let's see. Shift one. And I think this is the track. Oh, there we go. Avenge him? Was he dead? Wait, he's not dead. But What are you saying? I got it. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, damn it. I hate it when they do that. You know, you have this thing where you want to rescue somebody, but nope. You gotta have cutscene incompetence, as it's called. What the hell is this disco ball thing heading towards me? Whatever it is, I don't think I want it. What the hell was that? Anyways. Yeah, let me guess. It's Japan, so I'm gonna have a lot of female stringy-haired ghosts, aren't I? Alright, quickest way, quickest so I can't go through the building. Guess you have to go around the building. Oh wait, there's a tank nearby too. Where are the tanks compared to my position? Yeah, I'll grab over Probably should just go grab this one. Hey guys, I was just leaving. Oh, for crying out loud. Uh, some people just can't respect other people's privacy. Just terrible what we've come to these days. Wait, wait, wait. Do, 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 do. Ugh, looks like it'd be a pain in the ass to get to. All right, all right, we'll get to deal with it later. Ah, the Kaiden City Mall. I do think shopping's gonna be a bit difficult. You know you thought the pandemic lockdown of 2020 was bad. Okay. Special assignment received. Initializing. Okay, so let's hit it. Let's see, I think it's track three. No, okay. Any of you guys dancing to this stuff? No, no, not your thing? Okay. Ugh. Ooh, I can't teleport and do that at the same time. Which sucks. Wish I kinda knew that earlier. Yeah, I might require a different configuration. I like the disable effect of the, um, how do I put this? I like the disable effect of the uh, heart stopping thing. And the shield's good, even though it takes a second to prep up. I should have the shield up while I'm doing this. Thank you. That's a smarter thing to do. Third track. Mm, don't look like you guys are into it. Anybody here into, into doo-wop? Seriously? Wait, what the? Oh my god! He's dancing! This must be the guy, so he is actually being affected by it. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, Angry Feet. No, I thought Angry Feet was gonna be a dude, but that's a woman's profile. Eh. Who am I to judge? Okay, tank. Where's the tank compared to here? Just behind me, huh? 
Let's be, ah, there it is. Go grab the battery. I can already see you're going to be a problem. Cordyceps. Everybody's just trying to ape the last of us. Alright, if I remember correctly, it's up here. Come on. What the? Dude, road! Okay, are you happy now? You're dead. Again. Uh, where was the damn battery? Okay, here we go. My battery, not yours. Oh, for crying out loud. Guys! Flash mobs are so last decade. Oh, for crying out loud. I have the diner. Let's clear you. Okay. Obviously, I've got inventory issues, so give me a moment here. It's as soon as dimer. I normally port here, but I've got to pick up these three on the way. Hmm. All right, let's go. Interesting cracking noises. That wall has seen better days. Okay, in the interest of speeding things up, I'm going to do some inventory um, handling. Hang on. Okay, so we got that done. Now, this must be the quarantine wall, which looks like it's seen better days. Yeah. I don't think that quarantine well is doing well out there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think quarantine's broken. Jesus. It's worse as the Special coronavirus. Received. Initializing. What? Oh, compromised effigies? Oh my god. What the hell is that glowing thing? Maybe I don't want to know. Let's deal with this later. In the meantime, we got a tank to find. Whoa. Where did you come from? No materializing out of anywhere. Oh, gods. Who's left? Well, it takes care of you, and you're a compromised effigy. Deal with what you are in a moment. Wait, Robocop. So we got hacked Robocops, which would make sense. After all, John can hack any form of technology. But that's just rude. Let me guess. Yeah, it did actually work, despite not having a heart. Uh, Orochi technology. Anyways, where? Oh. Tank. Did I like, get lost? No, the tank's in this direction. Okay. Let's go take care of this problem. Okay, and more of you guys. I guess you're blindly programmed to attack the wall and just kind of get confused. I can wait. Boom. Kill counter is going to be like over on a belief at this point. Bouncing off my shield. I love it. I should have been using shields a long time ago. All right, five, six down. I probably should kill two more. Yeah, Oriachi security droids. Now under control of a insane incel with godlike powers. Surprise having been made into sex bots. Oh, gods. Now there's one more. Let's just get those eight over with. All right, dude, burn. Oh, this one's ranged. 
Doesn't really matter, or so am I. Haha! <laughs> no. Oh god, what have I got here? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, sorry about taking the long route here. But yeah, apparently they used a tank to breach the wall. I wonder if that's what the actual tipping point was. Are you still following me? Look, I don't appreciate stalkers. Oops, sorry about that. Didn't mean to get you involved. Ah, gods, everybody just wants to get in the action here. More? Gods. Kill counter's like insane at this point. Ah, let's just get the damn battery, shall we? Oy, what'd I go through? I'm not interested in fighting. Alright, tanks down here. Oh, but apparently you are. Great. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Everybody in? Cool. I've got, I still got a warranty on my life. Oi! Ugly! Oh, thank God for that shield. Oh, what the hell just happened there? Well, that's 25 drones down. Oh, you are still here? So that's... So, yeah, John took over the construction drones. Is that it? Ugh, gods. Getting that, that bloody tank right there. Good. Ignore me. Just ignore me. Going through this a little too much. Okay, gonna have to clear you guys out. Okay, a little easier than I thought it would be. One of the advantages of doing blood magic with having both a positive blood magic with this sanctuary one and the negative one with the heart rip is they cancel each other out. And why are you interrupting my speech? Ugh. Autographs later. Defeat uncompromised Oriachi effigies. Okay. I'm sorry about this being a bit of a grind. I didn't realize just getting these damn tank batteries would be so difficult. Okay, okay. Where are we headed next? Uh, tank over here and then the diner. All right, all right. There, there it is right there. I think I should be spamming that thing constantly. The hospital? There's probably nobody alive left in there. Mm. Okay, what do we have left? One tank battery back up here. Diner, or that's the other mission. Hmm. Let's just take a left here, I think. Not that interested in fulfilling the kill count here. The diner's just around the corner. I don't care about that mission. Dude! Four guys with swords is not going to be able to deal with the shit I just saw. 
All right, all right, use the boombox. I'm guessing she's going to be one of the wounded if she's still here. If you're not going to summon another monster. But hey, we got a whole bunch of guys with really pointy pieces of steel to defend us if the thing goes wrong. Uh, what do we got? Hmm, I think it's track four. Oh, this is you. I like Ricky. Everyone likes Ricky. But you've seen our gang. We're dropping like flies. There's bad things out there. And the great Ricky Pagan can't protect us. I'm gonna join the Jingu clan. It's my best chance. Tell Ricky to be safe. Tell him I'm sorry. Dumpster in that direction, huh? Okay, you couldn't toss it out in that dumpster back there. You had to pick one out with a bunch of monsters around it because you're being a bitch. Okay, loyalty is a thing I appreciate. If you're gonna quit, at least have the balls to tell the person you're quitting from. I mean, unless you're this sort of thing where you have to kill them, and then I'm just kind of thinking you have to, uh... No apology necessary. Let's see. That's Johnny's last location. That's the tank battery. Should have gotten that earlier, but let's just run over and grab it. Hi right, guys, just chill. Let's see. Kiro Point. Doesn't actually seem to be a point to anything. Or a point to this in period. Foss Capital Bank. Oh god, these are all the Oriachi Corporation headquarters, isn't it? Well, on the other hand, Koryachi's probably having issues with personnel right now. Most of them are wandering around the streets covered in filth. Alright, alright, alright. Tank, tank, tank. The hell? I'm not getting involved, whatever that is. Excuse me. Don't pop into existence in front of me, damn it. Hmm. Alright, wait, wait, wait. I got turned around, didn't I? Whoa, did I get turned around. <sighs> A lot of me driving, apparently. Here we are. I'm getting the last bank tank battery. All right, excellent. Now, if I'm correct, yeah, you just want us to come back and give those tank things, yeah. Not sure why we're putting living batteries in something that he told me he damaged all the circuitry to, but who cares? But the more important thing is, is that Johnny's last known location is just around the corner. Oh, God, guys, really? Ah, oh, there you go. Oh, hi. Really didn't mean to get, get involved here. Oh, that's just rude. Ow. One down. Oi. Anyways. If I recall, wasn't there a jacket down here? I had no idea why it was here, so I'm guessing this is the reason. Ugh, guys. Guys, guys, guys. Dumpster diving. You're undead. You don't need to dumpster dive. Oof, size. Okay, I get the idea. I might need more drugs. Sometimes it takes a while for the fire to kill, kill them. Okay, Big John, he doesn't want... Oh, hi. Okay. Can't hurt him? Let me guess. Let me guess. Supposed to use this thing. Yes. Figured it out. Figured it out. He turned to a big pussycat like the note said. But now I'm going to burn him. Shields up. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, fire and gunk. I, I, uh, yeah, this is a slog. Apologize for that. Tank batteries, the mission is really what made it, I mean, kicker. So I got to return to Pagan with this and this guy with the tank. Let's run over and get tanks next door. Yep, tanks right there. 
Then I'll pour it over the park, because you poor bastards have seen more than enough of me wandering around killing things. So, right. My guess, he's got three things operational in there. It's the microwave, the lights, and a DVD player. But, let's run over here and recharge him so he can get another 500 hours of porn, shall we? Dude, wait. What am I supposed to do here? No. Okay. So... Oh, there we go. Go above it. All right. Oh, thank you for your contribution. Your field port's been analyzed. Yep, more inventory, and I'll teleport over to uh, where Ricky is. Hang on. Okay, so here we are back at the park, and let's get these jackets to Ricky. What you want from Ricky Pagan? I uh, brought you back your. Hmm. Guessing something went wrong here. We skipped some script, but these are the ghosts. Well, actually, they're not the ghosts. If you take a look at them, by the way, there's four of them. There's only three dead. Well, technically none of the pagans are dead, as they are, in fact, three are filled and one is quit. But these are his memory rec memory recollections given life. No, not really life. It's kind of a living memory he's created with his earth power to help give him companionship. Which, you know, is a kind of a thing, but apparently I'm supposed to dance with them. Okay, cool. I don't have any cool dances, unfortunately. What's the sprinkler? All right, I'll do the white guy shuffle over here. Anyways, let's see what we got. This just, just goes to show that our cultural propaganda agenda is working, even decades after it began. What? You didn't know Delvis worked for us? You probably think he's dead. Let's not get into that conspiracy theory. Anyway, Zern will almost wet himself when I told him that you managed to make one of the filth dance too, technically, with a cheap boombox. The exact words, if auditory stimulation can awaken latent memories, perhaps upon removal of the filth, the mutations might reverse themselves. We knew there weren't zombies, too much brain activity, but they are far, far more than just psychotic humans. And Ricky got closure to heartwarming. All right, not really, but yeah. Okay, so. <laughs> yeah, watch me embarrass myself here. Yeah, that's gonna call it this particular episode unfortunately like the middle the last half of the second act was mostly me driving around and killing things which i do apologize by the way but we did manage to get pagan his some of his closure and you know we're still looking at all these living memory dancers here that we're just chilling with and um next episode i think we're gonna chill with the the pagan here and just see what other two missions he's got because he's just frankly too cool for school and we gotta figure out his story is i know kirsten wants us to get back at the tank but we'll get there eventually anyways this has been fantastic worlds saying farewell from lovecraft country and the secret world legends and if you like this like share subscribe if you really like it down below are links to the gumroad payment platform we help expand this channel including at the next stretch goal for the uh support is the Secret World Lore Hunter series, which if we reach the next good, about $3, I think, from here, then I will begin a series in which I start hunting down with a, a separate character all the lore that I can find in this game. I will cheat, see as much, of course, just so I don't miss anything, but we'll see what we can do. And I want to get the backstory to the backstory of this particular world because it's always so terribly interesting how much the developers put in. And again, if you didn't see it, we did pass the stretch goal for the Lustrum Beyond demo, which, if I remember, I'll put a link up here. And we are approaching the 200 mark, which will designate that the Lustrum Beyond will be the next series that I do after the Vexious Madness of Dr. Decker, the current series, is done. If we reach 200 before we reach the end of Dr. Decker, it automatically goes to the top of the list. Otherwise, there'll be a vote. See what you guys want. I'll throw together a trailer, like five or six games. You can pick which one that you want to see me bumble my way through. In any case, this is Fantastic World saying farewell. See you next time. choice.